Hello, so I got rejected from the border of Canada, so I'll make a video about that. If anybody wonders why none of my videos are of Canada, it's because they won't let me in. Um, the first time I tried to go into Canada was uh, about a month ago. I tried to get into Canada. I thought it was no big deal. So I showed up with like my half dreads. It was even worse than, like a way worse than it is now. I, had to, I was like, Poosh. and I was like, yo, what's up? Well, actually, the first lady, I go to the first thing, and I'm like, yo, what's up? I thought she was just going to stamp me through. She's, since she's all acting grumpy, she's like, turn your car off. I can't hear her. And I'm like, what you coming in for? I was like, oh, going to go to Seattle or Vancouver and, like, hang out and do the Gold's Gym for two weeks. She goes, is that the only reason you're coming? I was like, no. And she kind of pissed me off. I was like, uh... She's like, well, you go over there. So I go, I go park my car and I go in, I stand in line and I look over and on the wall I see a portrait of the queen. So I was like, oh shit. Uh, that's right, Canada is not even an independent country. It's still part of the British Commonwealth. So yeah, I think I'm going to try to get Kate Middleton to get me into Canada. I'm going to spend the next couple decades writing her because she's hot. She's going to be the queen. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then I talked to the dude, and he's like, you have any, w oh yeah, the lady asked me if I had any weapons, so I was like, oh yeah, my mace. Shit, where the hell is that? Oh fuck, I think I lost it, which I had here. And, uh, so I like give it to him, I was like, oh yeah, here's my mace, what, are you gonna give it back to me when I come back? I totally thought that I was gonna get in. I, I, my impression when I first got there was like, no biggie, you can just go in, you know, like like it's like a sister country of America. Because I was in Europe last summer and I, there aren't even borders. Like when you go from like Germany to Netherlands and all across all those borders and Scandinavia and stuff. And a lot of those other countries too, a whole bunch of countries. You, you, you don't even know when you cross the border. You just, next thing you know, you have to, you, have, you, you know because stuff is different. You know, like the bike paths disappear, you know, when you go from the Netherlands into Germany. Um, and, uh, yeah, but no, it's not like that, dude. <laughs> he, and I'm, he's like, I was like, yeah, you're going to give it back? He's like, well, there's some problems, so we got to hammer out first. He's like, how much money you have? I was like, I don't know, like 400 bucks. He's like, do you have any money anywhere else? I was like, no. And I was like, oh, wait, yeah, I do. There's my joint account with the oil. We... Um, we make like 60 grand a year or something like that before taxes for between the three of us. And, um, but I was like, no, but I have three credit cards. And he asked me when it was the last time I lived in a house. I was like, oh, about a year ago. Cause I traveled around Europe last year. And, uh, and what else did he ask me? And then he's like, give me your keys so I can, oh yeah. He goes, are you going to are you bringing any drugs into America? And I go, no. And he's like, well, are you sure? Tell me now. Cause if we catch you with drugs, you go to prison. And I was like, no. And, uh, and then, uh, yeah, he's like, give me your keys so I can search your car. So I give him the keys and he like snaps the keys on his little carabiner. And he's like, stands up straight and like looks at me as he snaps it back. Like I was like a bad guy, which kind of freaked me out. Then he goes over to my car and he comes back, and I still didn't think anything of it. And then he's like, yeah, we're not going to let you come in. And I'll, when he said that, I was like, what the fuck? It, like, pissed me off. I was like, like, my whole view of the world changed when he said that. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And so I was like, why? And he's like, uh, he's like, we're not going to, we don't know. I can't hold your hand and know you're not going to get lost. And I was like, well, he's like, he gives me this piece of paper. Oh shit, let's see if I can find that piece of paper. <clears throat> He's like, you're gonna need to show these things. Uh, yeah, if you're gonna get into Canada, you need, you need to um, provide these three things, which is, oh shit, oops. Proof of, um, here, I'll just read it really quick. All foreign nationals wishing to Canada must satisfy a citizen immigration officer that you, um, 
that you are in good health, do not have a criminal record, or pose a threat to Canada's uh, security, have a valid passport or travel document, and have enough money to support yourself and your family members while in Canada. We'll leave Canada voluntarily at the end of your stay, meet the requirements of the Immigration Refugee Protection Act and regulations for studying or working Canada as your intention and otherwise meet requirements of the Immigration Refugee Protection Act and regulation for entry into Canada. Um, all United States citizens must provide a valid U.S. passport or proof of U.S. citizenship. Um, Huh, well where's the part, oh here we are, Here. This is, this is what he was pointing to. You need to provide proof of residence. Be able to su uh, supply citizenship and regress your offer your document evidence of your continued residence outside of Canada. Uh, this could include such things as rent receipts, oh shit, haha. <laughs> I just, see I didn't read this. Proof of employment. Um, you should uh, be able to supply citizenship immigration officer with document of your uh, proof of continued employment outside Canada. This could include things such as a letter from your employer stating how long you've been employed, when you return your job, when you last worked. Employer recent, recent pay stubs also helpful. Proof of funds support your trip. If you do not have sufficient funds and you have an, uh, arrangements in Canada for your stay, support from relatives or friends without taking unauthorized employment, you should ensure that when you arrive or uh, temporary work visa. Okay, so when he said that, I didn't actually read it, but when he said that, I, I was under the impression that I needed to provide proof of of work within Canada, not in America. So I was like, I'm not going to Canada. I'm going to Canada as a tourist, dude. And I said freaking, and I started to raise my voice, and you know, and I got kind of pissed off. He's like, hey man, I'm giving you respect, you give me. So I was like, okay, yeah, right, freaking, won't say that. But I was like, yeah, why do I have to provide proof of work in Canada? I'm going as a tourist. I live in America. I'm only going to go there two weeks. He's like, it doesn't matter. Um, so then he didn't want to talk to me. So then I went back and uh, I went back into Bellingham for a month. And then I tried to go back into Canada a month later. But I, And I never actually looked at this and I should have because I thought what he said was proof of work in America. But uh, apparently it says proof of, I mean, proof of residence in, in Canada, but it says proof of residence in uh in America that you need. So I tried to go back, you know, I don't have that because I live in my van. So I tried to go back and they had me have a meeting with another dude. And so I had my proof of funds, I had my tax receipts that were actually on my computer because I couldn't open it up with the program on the, the, uh, the library computer that prints. So I had it here and I was gonna give it to him if he wanted it and I kept telling him I had it. And then I had, um, I had my little YouTube happy, my YouTube book, um, because uh, I was going to show them all my YouTube videos, and this shows all my YouTube videos, and then I had another piece of paper with all my other YouTube travel videos, just to show the dude that I'm a traveler, and I just go from one place, and then I go to another place, and, um, you know, kind of to show them reasons why I was going to go to Canada, because the other lady and dude was like, where they were like puzzled why I would go to Canada, which is fucking weird, because Canadians travel, they understand that concept. Um, yeah, you know, like all my videos and stuff. And uh, I had a letter from my mom saying that I had a job. And then I had uh, I had my bank account, which had actually $1,000 in it, because my mom put an extra 500 because she didn't think that the other check she put in would actually clear for some reason. So it said that I had 1000 and then I had a thing written up that said I had 2000 in my other account. So I was showing 4000 that I had in my accounts with my name on there and the date, which was that day. And, um, and, uh, but I told the dude, I was like, yeah, oh yeah. He's like, yeah, what do you want to do? What else will, will, will help your case? Do you think? And he's looking, he's like, give me that notebook. So he's looking at my notebook, but I didn't, I didn't remember that when I made this, put this notebook together, I had a bunch of pictures of chicks in here. Cause it's like pictures of rowing chicks. I just printed them up. To like add to my rowing pages, you know, because I got the times for the rowings and the chicks down there. And he like, um, he was got fixated on that. And he's like, who's this girl you keep having the same picture of? And I was like, I was like, oh, I explained the concept of my website and all that stuff. But he wasn't seemed to like be uh, impressed by that.
Oh yeah, and then he, I saw him notice my my videos about aliens and conspiracy theory and stuff, like staring at it. <laughs> but then he start he he starts my van again. He's like, uh, do you have uh, is your cell phone open? Um, can I look in your cell phone um, to see if you called anybody in Canada before you came here? I was like, yeah. He's like, did you call anybody in Canada before you come here? I'm like, nope. And anyway, he comes back, and then he's like, yeah, you can't. Uh, you still don't require um, come up with the requirements to come into Canada. And by then, I wasn't surprised, so I didn't get like pissed off or anything. Um, but I, but I was like, well, what if I want to go to Alaska? He's like, oh, you got to fly. You got to take the the uh, the ferry or fly. And he's like, so do you understand now? Like what exactly you need to go to Canada? I was like, yeah, I need to be paying rent on a house. I have to, I can't be, I can't own a house because I told him I own a house. I got to be paying a rent on a house at the time of trying to get into Canada and I got to prove that. He's like, yeah, that's what you need. So, um, and you have to provide proof of funds, but that didn't mean shit because I already did that. So I guess, so, um, and he's like, yeah, if you try to come in again, we're going to detain you until you have a hearing with a judge who's going to then give a date where you can't attempt to come back into Canada with a certain date. So I went into America again, and I went back to this uh, gas station because I hid my my mace underneath a bush at this gas station. And there's this fat lady who was like checking me out when I was there getting gas before, and I went in to get some food, and she's like, "Oh, you're back!" And I was like, "Yeah, they didn't let me in Canada." And she's like, "Oh yeah, my friend was moving to Alaska, and she had already uh, moved out of her place in America and hadn't or in, in here and hadn't." gotten a place yet in Alaska and they didn't let her into Canada because she didn't actually have a place to live. So I think the rule is, is that you have to have a place, prove to them that you have a place to live in, in America at that time when you go into Canada. You can't be between houses um, if you're going to get into Canada. So if I'd have known that, if I'd have actually read this after the first news came, because I never even looked at it. Maybe I would have just had my mom, if she would have done that, um, send me some like bills, utility bills, and just told him that I live with my mom and I'm vacation from living with my mom, which is kind of true. I mean, I lived with my mom last year for a month and I'll live with her again for about a month next year. So technically, I guess you could say I live with my mom. I'm just on an extended vacation from living with my mom. And I do help her pay utilities, so I wouldn't be lying. I'd be like, yeah, here's the utility bill. I mean, I didn't pay for the utility from last month, which would be like a white lie. But if you want to get into Canada, you got to tell them you live with your mom and that you help pay the utilities if you're not paying, if, if you're like me and you live in your van. <laughs> um yeah, so uh, I don't know what I'm going to do if I want to go into Canada again. Um, I guess I'll do the I live with my mom thing, or I'll try to cross the border with my bike, and I'll tell them that I'm there to bike tour. Because if they if they arrest me, at least I get to see Canada. I could Maybe I could ask them if I could keep my video camera with me. I could film outside of the paddy wagon, and, uh, and then maybe it won't cost me that much to get my bike out of, uh, out of the, uh, the impound after they tell me I'm bad for a certain amount of time. Um, or just get pre, uh, pre permission to get into Canada. It's weird that, um, I can't go into Canada because there's no, there's no travel visa. You can't get like a travel visa and then go there. You just have to show up at the border. So basically it's fucked. Like I, there's no way I can get into Canada. I can go to every other country in the world, except the one that's right next to my country that where they, they have the same exact accent as me. And they're like, I thought they were like little America, you know, part of America. America's best friend. Not exactly. It's the only country that I can't go to. So I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to all the other countries in the world. And then if I'm like, if I'm finally like really old and I'm finally like, okay, time to go to Canada, I guess I'll try to do that. Get, get prior permission from the, um, from, from somebody at the embassy or just cross over with my bike, um, and tell them, give them proof of, of residency. Uh, but I guess, yeah, not everybody can get into Canada. You just, you can't just go to Canada because you're American. They don't want you there. Um, some other questions the dude asked me was, do you have insurance? And I said, I didn't have insurance, but I showed him my proof of uh, insurance for my car. Um, they asked me if I knew anybody there, um, which I said, no. Um, yeah. 
When I came back the first time, I was all pissed off, and I told this uh, Indian dude, Indian American dude, uh, that they didn't let me in. And he's like, "Yeah, they didn't let me in either when I tried to go." And when I was leaving, I I didn't stop completely at the stop sign, and they gave me a two hundred to fifty dollar dollar fine. And when I was trying to get in, they looked at my tattoo and they asked me what gang I was part of, which is fucking rude. Oh my god. If some border monkey asked me that fucking thing, like, what, what gang are you part of? I would have been like, holy fuck, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, like, India, I don't know, and if, in case you're a Canadian, like, Indians? Like, I am from India. Those people aren't in gangs. It's the Mexicans who are in the gangs, man. Those Indians are harmless. Um... Yeah, and like blacks, you know. There's white gang members. I've never, I've never seen like Indian violent Indian gangs. They're all computer nerds. Um, so they've got some, they got, they got some fucked up training with those border fucking monkey motherfuckers. So, anyways, yeah, that's why if you want to go to Canada, you gotta be. It's proof of residence right here. You gotta, you gotta have, you gotta be paying rent. They're not into the whole living in the van thing. Maybe they don't understand the concept because it gets cold up there and you can't do it in the wintertime and they just, they think if you live in your van, like you're desperate or something. But it's, uh, whatever, whatever. That's just why I'm not ever, I'm not, you're not going to see any videos about me in Canada because uh, I'm not allowed. They don't trust me, which is fucked because I thought I gave them a good, a good, a good reasoning. I gave them, you know, I showed them how I'm a traveler, how I have the money and like I was just going to be there for two weeks and stuff. You'd think that they'd understand. That I'm not, like, what could I do? Like, beg for money? Am I going to Canada to beg for money? You know, am I going to get in a car wreck? It's, they, they could tell I don't have any rest warrants or speeding tickets or anything. I mean, what else am I going to do? Try to get a job? I told them how much money I had and that I just travel. I'm not obviously not going to work there. Told him about my website. He could have checked it out and seen all the shit that I do. But no, I was still, uh, they thought it would be would have been dangerous to Canada f to allow me in, so... That's why I'm, I'm not going to go to Canada anytime soon.